This is Corey Watson with another review today. Transformers Cyberverse, one step changer of bludgeon. We have Slush today as my assistant and Perry as well. What's up? Now let's get started. So yes, bludgeon is a very awesome character. I saw him in the show. And his, well, feet are stumpy a little, yeah. He has very nice paint, and his design looks nice. He looks like a Transformer Samurai. And his face and head sculpt looks great as well. He's a double barrel pink. Citronian take is very nice. And you could put the sword there for storage, weapon storage. He has good, nice posability as well. And he has a gimmick. He could move his wrists and move his arm back and forth. And also he has a special gimmick. Just he could put his sword in his hand and it could move around with the wrist. That's a very nice feature they did with this figure. That's Hasbro did. Only on his right arm, he has that wrist rotation, so he can move the sword around and do some nice poses, but still limited. It's a very nice feature they did with the figure. Yeah, very awesome. Yup, he might be in the top 10, maybe. Transform a samurai? Cool, man. No doubt about it. But I'm not sure he's gonna beat me. We'll see. Okay, yup, this figure is pretty awesome. For a one step changer. He's very cool. I saw him on the show. He didn't really speak that much, but he did enough. So yeah, on the back, you could put his sword on the back for weapon storage, of course. He's a very nice figure. I'm glad that he comes with a weapon. Anyway, I think it's time for some comparisons. I've only seen him in two media of Transformers. A long time ago, he used to be a pretender. Transformer. It's time for comparisons. We have Wheeljack and Optimus Prime, one step changer, Cyberverse. And we have Cyberverse Optimus Prime, Warrior Class. Then we have Transformers Earthrise, Chris Jumper, War for Cybertron. Then we have Prime Masters, Metalhawk, and Crowd Waker. And then we have Megatron, one step change your Cyberverse. Yep. He's a very, very awesome figure. Finally, I got him in his tank mode. Nah, it wasn't actually that hard. He's a one step changer. Yep, a very nice tank. A double barrel tank. Very nice. Very nice. And there's a set the symbol right there. And on this chest from his robot. Yep, very nice. Very nice tank mode. I'm glad I got this figure. I wish they couldn't have made a warrior class figure out of this. Or, or something. So... Only problem I have with him is that he doesn't have wheels. That's it. He doesn't have wheels. They gave Megatron wheels, but not Bludgeon. Unless my copy doesn't have any. Yeah, he doesn't have wheels. That's a bummer. Yep. It is, Perry. It is. But he still got some good nice paint apps, so yeah, you're right about that. 
mostly he's going to be dragging. I'm mostly going to be dragging this guy. Yep. He's going to be dragging across the floor. But still, you got to admit, Transformer Samurai, rocking awesome. All right. Thank you, Slush. Thank you. Thank you, Slush. Yep. Fantastic. So, how much? So, what do you think about this figure now? I say I give him like 8 out of 10. 8? Yeah. He's not a bad figure. He's a one step changer. Oh, yeah. Time for comparison. Sorry. Here is Earthwise Crystal Jumper. Here is Wheeljack from the same line. Optimus Prime. And Megatron, all four of them together. Very nice. And then Megatron and Bludgeon, just those two. Very nice. And we have the Pretenders, Prime Masters. So, yeah. So, I give this guy 8 out of 10. He's not a bad figure. He's a good figure. Pretty great. He gave him that sword moving feature for one of his hands. Yep, he's a very rocky, awesome character. Yep, definitely he gets my vote. 8 out of 10. Yep. I hope you enjoyed this. He's a very awesome looking figure. But sometimes there's another problem. He can't stand very properly. Because he has stubby toes. Megatron doesn't have that. But still, he's a pretty great figure. You could do some poses with him. That's all. Just some. Alright. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later. Bye. Peace. Bye. Alright. For the next review, guys. It's going to be Transformers SS Revenge of the Fallen Soundwave Studio Series. Oh, yeah. This guy looks nice, son. Oh, yeah. Slush. Yeah. You're going to be working with someone else in this review. Who? Who could that be? You're going to be working with Olaf. Hi, I'm Olaf. Nice to meet you. Hi, Olaf. How you doing? Good. Yep. Let's get along. All right. Yep. And bye. See you guys on the next video.